My name is Jacqueline Bush and I am an editorial and celebrity hairstylist. My clientele has included Faith Hill, Mark Ruffalo, Terrence Howard, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jane Krakowski. I want to be able to show you that hair isn't as intimidating or as hard as you think it is and I want you to be able to have fun with it and do what your vision is with your hair. So now I'm going to show you how to get hair like the women in Mad Men or Betty Draper hair. As you saw from our last clip, how to get Hollywood glamour, you're going to do the same thing, which is what I've already done to the model. The difference is instead of brushing it out, you could even brush it out. What I did is I took about inch sections on the top of her head and curled those ones just a little more. In the last video, we took larger sections. This time, just on the top of the head, we're just taking a little bit smaller sections to give a little more curl on the top of your head. I'm gonna do this all the way around. I've already done this side for you. And I curled these last two pieces away from the face because I like a little bit of variation in movement. So, after you do that, you're gonna take some, uh, for me I'm using a styling wax. It has a little bit of shine in it because shine was very important back then. You're gonna silk that through the hair. And I'm not brushing the curls too much yet. Then you're gonna take your smoothing brush, the little hairspray. As we did in our last video, we're gonna do it again. As you notice, I'm not going all the way through just yet. Then we're gonna brush through the ends. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have our model turn around for us. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the top half of the hair. And you know, the sectioning doesn't have to be really particular on this. We're gonna lift that up, clip it out of the way, and then we're gonna take our smoothing comb and we're gonna tease this part. We're gonna take that clip out. You could spray it a little bit if your hair is a little soft. If your hair is too soft, that's what prevents it from holding a style. So you know, your hair needs to be a little rough. Now we're gonna smooth that out, just smoothing out the curls a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little rubber band, small rubber band. If you have long hair, this is the trick you're gonna do. If you have short hair and you already did the curl and brushed it out, that is Mad Men Betty Draper hair, <laughs> the old Hollywood style glamour look. Now, if you have long hair like our model does, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that whole section of hair you're gonna make sure it's all mainly together. You're gonna put it in a very low ponytail. So you see that ponytail comes mm, about the middle of her back. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this section, you're gonna tease it underneath. Then, taking my fingers, or you can do it with a comb, you're gonna bring that ponytail through and under one more time. Then you're gonna pull it out a little bit, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pin it underneath. So I have some bobby pins here. And this little ponytail, remember this little T section? That's what you're pinning. So I can go through that little hole that we have, pin that underneath. And I've shown you in another video how to use bobby pins, so you can look that up if you're confused. Gripping the hair making sure that ponytail stays out. And as you can see, oh, it's falling. I'm gonna stick in another little pin. You know, you know, the more precise, the more time you spend doing this, the cleaner it's gonna look. The less time you spend. If you spend less time on something like this, it's okay, but just make sure the look blends. You know, you can make it a little bit more undone looking if you spend less time but you just gotta make sure the undone works. You might ask, how would you do that? You can tease it out a little bit at the end, pull out some sections so that it doesn't look like it just sloppily fell, you know? Pinning a little more, making that nice X shape. You can use larger bobby pins too. I'm using the small ones because most of you guys probably don't have different size pins at home. Pinning that ponytail right in there to the nape of her neck. Now we're gonna have our model turn back around. 
Now we have most of that hair pinned up. We're gonna look at it from the front. Now, she has this little section here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pin that in the shape that we want. So we want a little bit more of the curl to show. So we're just gonna pin that right here. I'm just taking that pin and pinning it directly into the hair. Now what I'm gonna do, spray again with hairspray. Smooth it. Spray a little more, give it a little more control. This is where it's all about the eyes, guys, because back then it was about shaping it. And that's the short way on how to get Mad Men hair.